Hey there folks, today I'm going to be showing you how to use one of these fuel injection pressure testers. Now, the kit comes with a couple different adapters, a couple different hoses, and a bleeder line, uh, a couple clamps and all that. I'm going to put a link in the description for the one I'm using. I only, however, need this one. Your application may be a little different. This is just going to be a generic video how to pressure test your vehicle. We are working on a 2017 Chevy Equinox, just for your reference. So what you need to do to start, you get your pressure tester out of the package obviously inspect it for damage once you're ready to use it you're going to locate your fuel line uh, test port and that's where you're going to connect it's got this little plastic cap on it and that is where we're going to connect the tester all right so before you hook up your pressure tester just get a service manual i like to get haynes manuals for all my vehicles they work out quite nicely and you have a specifications chart here and you find out your year and it'll tell you the PSI. So, and I'll tell you how to do this test we're gonna do. So let's hook it up now. We gotta be quick when we attach it so that fuel doesn't spray. So we're going to go to the port right there. And we're gonna screw it on as quickly as we can. A little bit of gas is gonna get over your hand. Not to worry, just have some cloths at the ready. Make sure that it is securely tightened and I'm gonna hang this up. All right, so my setup right now, you can see, you saw that we attached to our service port right there. And then we just got it hanging. This hook did not come with the kit. I just had it laying in my basement. I just have a bungee cord hooked up to the locking hook on my hood. And it's just hanging there so that we can film it and we can see the readout as we're filming it and refer to the video. All right, so we have a little bit of PSI in the gauge there. That's normal, even though it's very low. We haven't started the test yet, so the system isn't fully pressurized. So the first test we are going to perform, we want to turn the ignition to accessory, but without the engine running. And if you have a push start, that is just a quick push of that push start button. And then if you have a regular key, it's usually two clicks to the on or accessory position without the engine running. So we're gonna do that and watch it pressurize and see if we're in spec. All right, so you saw it flex while it pressurized. That's a good sign, we're holding pressure. Now spec on this particular Equinox is 44 to 58 PSI max. We're at just below 62, I'll call it 61 and a half. So a few extra PSI over max isn't any cause for worry. Now we're going to turn the vehicle on and see what the pressure looks while it's running. All right, so it is hovering about where we want it to hover. That's not too bad for operating. Uh, fluctuation is twitching a little bit, but again, no more than one PSI. I like that for operating pressure. That's all good, it's within spec. So next we're going to shut the engine off and we wanna leave it for five minutes with the gauge on it. And we don't want it to see a drop of more than eight PSI for a leak down pressure test. So right now we are at about 52 PSI. So we don't wanna go anywhere lower than 39 PSI of a drop over the next five minutes. All right, so it's about five minutes gone past. Now, we just time-lapsed it, obviously, to save you some time, we're not gonna make you wait five minutes. We're still at 59 PSI, it actually rose a little bit, which is good. That means that we appear not to have any leaking injectors or pumps or anything like that. So if you were to have the pressure start to drop down in this uh, leak down pressure test, then that would indicate, again, like your your fuel injectors might be dripping slightly and the pressure is being relieved through them or your fuel pump might be leaking or your fuel lines might be leaking. 
things like that. So you have to check accordingly, but we're all good. So we're just gonna show you how to get this safely off of the test port and pack it all up. All right, so just make sure that you've taken your key out of your ignition just to make sure you're safe. Now, I just have a rag or a paper towel under here. We're going to take this off, try to be as quick as you can so you spray the least amount of fuel. Apparently that's the time my hand wants to cramp up. All right, and don't forget your plastic cap, put it safely back on to make sure that this test port stays clean and safe. That's good for that. Now we just need to get the rest of the fuel out of this tester safely. All right, so even though it's reading zero, you may have a little fuel still in the line. I just go back to my fuel filler cap and then stick the test port side in. And then you have this little bleeder valve right here. Just stick it at the highest point and press that. You may not be able to hear it, but you'll hear some on camera. You might not be able to hear it, but in real time, you might be able to hear that dripping in. Just wipe it up. All the fuel is gone out of here. I like to just take a bag and put it around here for storage, just in case you have any droplets and you're good to go. Hopefully you found this helpful. As always, please don't forget to like and subscribe.